Sie ja. Hey, Coffee Chess Group, Brian here, and Carl, man, taking no chances this time against Allen, man, and and uh, for those, oh, I don't want to spoil what happened in the last game between these two, but Carl played this absolutely, kind of like a pit bull, you know, he grabbed a hold of Allen and just never let go and um, kept on biting until the end, <laughs> and that's that's what good players do, um, Carl, obviously is a master, he's a great, great player, and he kind of uh, exploited that, um, well, focused on this weak pawn, which, and then eventually um, had the two bishops, and white couldn't castle. He really wanted to castle, but he couldn't, and um, at the end, just, uh, I think, Alan just was uh, frustrated with all the firepower on his king here, and decided, wanted to trade off, but that tactic at the end, um, like you saw, happened there, so... Nicely done, man. And um, we're going to go over in the analysis uh, where it all went wrong for White and how he could have castled and, and got into safety. This, is, Yeah, it's, um, if you don't castle fast, then problems like this can happen. And we're going to go over that position where the, both queens were hanging. That was a juicy position here. And we're going to figure out what the best move was for Black. I think uh, it's a sneaky... you, you got to really... Um, process it to, to see it but uh, it's a counterintuitive way but the win is there for black and we'll, which we'll go over as well so great game by Alan and Carl hope you guys enjoyed it let me know just guys thought of the game in the comments below if you want to get Carl a cup of coffee his link is in the video description check out all the other cool links there Amazon links to chess gear merch links and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe hit that bell notification so you don't miss future videos all right let's uh, figure out where it kind of all went wrong for white here in the game White plays queen c2. Let's go and move back. Pause the video. What will be another move for for white here? Alright, Carl is um, targeting this um, 
this weak pawn and and white is uh Alan you know in his way to defend it kind of burned a lot of time um so going back here what you can do is you can liquidate that weakness by playing d4 all right but what happens if black plays queen a6 and you know white would love to castle here but he can't castle into um castle into this check so um what black can do is play knight h4 targeting the bishop but also targeting this pawn here and so let's go bishop back and now black can, or white can play uh, bishop f1 tempo of the queen rook b1 to set this up to make sure that uh, white cannot influence anymore um, on the on these on these light squares and this could be one continuation and finally white castles and position computer has white slightly better at 0 0.3 so that could have been one way to go um, yeah but alas that did not happen in the game and um, here in this position uh, you get to this critical position in the game Allen man brave guy <laughs> pushes d4 and in the game Carl took a long time to think in this position as he should man because this is when both queens are hanging, you've got to calculate all the lines and decide to play knight check here. This is winning. Uh, let's go move back. Pause the video. What will be another? What's an alternative line for black here? Alright, one idea is knight f3 check. Okay. Um, knight recaptures, right? Now what? Bishop takes queen. Bishop takes queen, pawn takes bishop. Is that right? Uh, let's go back here. Instead of bishop takes queen, let's go move back. Pause video. How would you continue this as black? Yes, get out of the attack with check. So you still have a free move to pick up the queen on the next move. And notice that uh, queen can't even block, so, I mean, and black is crushing it here. Computer has black here at negative 10.3. But that's really hard to see. It's really hard to calculate. Um, yeah, it's kind of counterintuitive, but uh, if you're ever in that situation where your, you know, major piece is under attack, figure out if you can get it out of attack with check. So you still have um, an opportunity to take your opponent's major piece if you know you're in that situation. So, ooh, man, that's a yeah, that's a very nice tactic. But alas, um, kind of Carl kept on the pressure, and in the end, Allen decided I want to relieve the pressure. But then, of course, this tactic is there, and um, Allen resigns. And yeah, it's a sign of respect, man. When when you're going to be down that much, and Carl's a master, so. Um, Allen decided not to uh, play it out, but uh, but Allen Allen's a great player, man. You saw him go kind of beast mode at the end in the other game, uh, in the previous game. So, um, but uh, yeah, you know, even Allen played this well. Even you know, he was down a pawn and kind of couldn't castle. He played the best he could. Yeah, he he, he did all right. He survived, but I just think that he uh, the pressure got to him here when he wanted to trade off the queens and just kind of fell for the tactic. Great game played by both men. Hope you guys enjoyed it and the analysis. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification and thanks. I will see you guys tomorrow.